what she's going to talk about today. Susan, how you doing? Good. Great how to are have you? you on the show. It's good to have you back on the show again. Good to see you. <laughs> tell everybody what you got, all right? Okay, well, I just wanted to tell you who I am first. I'm a media specialist by day. I do graphic design, photography, and uh, web editing and, and that kind of thing. And on in the evening, I paint and teach painting classes, and, and also I'm a firearms enthusiast. And I'm passionate about encouraging women to be prepared when something bad happens and not be in a position of weakness. So I have a feeling that all of this is really going to overlap with all these women because we all have the same opinion about this. I am do not want to be in a position of weakness if something bad happens. And I also believe that there is black and white in the world, that bad things do happen, there is evil, and that we good people need to be prepared to act when something bad happens because there are bad people in the world and bad things do happen so i've been a firearms enthusiast probably all my life but i really became a firearms enthusiast about uh, 15 years ago I, be I found myself single i had a seven to eight year old child son he's 22 now and I w moved into a big old house and it, I was renovating it and it had really old windows. The only way people couldn't get in, I would lock the windows by putting a board up, you know, so that the board, the window wouldn't go up. So I'm thinking, so one night I'm upstairs, sometimes I'm by myself in this house and sometimes I'm with my child. And mostly I'm by myself, but he's also there in another room. And I'm thinking, I'm laying in bed one night and I'm thinking, okay, how... You know, what if somebody comes into my house? This old house has one way upstairs. There's one staircase. There's no way out. It's two stories. I can jump out the window, but then, I'm, you know, my son is there. And also, there's no door locks. There's no doorknobs, no door no locks, nothing. No door can close. And I go, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm pretty messed up here. What am I going to do? Throw a chair at the guy? I mean, what can I do? So I did have weapons in the house, and I put one next to my bed and uh, thought about, you know, how would I uh, started thinking about the scenarios that might happen if someone broke into my house and I was by myself or my son was there. And uh, so I decided, uh, of course, to hide. You know, I have a gun downstairs. I have two upstairs in strategic positions then. I also wanted to make sure that I knew how to use the gun safely and the, what the best way was to use this gun, the, the firearms that I had. And I had a number of different kinds, and I really wasn't afraid of them, but I wanted to know what the safe way was to use them and the best way to defend myself if something bad happened. And so I, I also wanted, this is really important, to teach my son those things. I wanted to be able to teach him the right way. If I didn't know the right way, how was I going to teach them the right way? So I went down to Aaron's gun shop and met Matt and took his uh, concealed handgun uh, license class, which is very excellent. You learn so much more uh, than you would ever would anywhere else uh, about defending yourself, about the safety of the gun, and about how to use it. And, and then I started, so I got my concealed carry license, and one of the epiphanies I had, because I, I was like, well, at one point in my life, I, you know, I didn't ever think about carrying a, a weapon. But then I thought to myself, why, you need to ask yourself, why can't I carry? You know, why can't I get my carry license? Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I, I can't get my carry license and know and be prepared about uh, how to use it if something bad should happen because I'm not into weakness I'm into being able to defend myself or something and knowing how to defend myself if something bad happens um, so that's pretty much why I you know became a carry licensed and I've been doing this going down every Friday night practicing not every Friday night when I can and uh uh, learning about other types of weapons, learning how to use other types of weapons, learning how to use my weapon proficiently, um, and practicing so that I can become, um, you know, proficient. So that's basically, I want to encourage women 
that they can get their carry <clears throat> license and to, to not not be in a position of weakness, but be aware of your surroundings, be able to take care of business when something bad does happen. Um, and I want you to ask yourself when you're in your house, what if this ha what if this happened? What if this happened? What if this happened? And be prepared, have a plan, be able to pr defend yourself and your family, even your husband. If you're married, you need to be a team and have a plan together. Um, you need to be able to practice with the weapon you have and be comfortable with it and practice, practice, practice so that practice when... Practice eliminates panic, right? Right. Now, Susan, and try to get ready for a break, but Susan, last night was the uh, round robin competition. Yeah. And you do practice a lot, and I know you're very aggressive with your mind and everything you really want to learn, but even with all that training, we still step on it sometimes, don't we? We do. And that's why it's all more important to just practice even harder because when... The stuff hits the fan, your ten fingers turn into three fingers. That's right. And so we just tried. That's why we're so focused on shooting a small group because when you get pumped up full of adrenaline, adrenaline, your group's going to open up. So if you start with an open group, it's going to get like buckshot or um, a shotgun spread. You don't want that. So anyway.